This video is sponsored by DA Lubricant Company. Give your fleet bumper to bumper protection. Visit DALube.com to learn more. There are plenty of metrics you can use to measure the energy required to move goods, and as a fleet manager, you're probably familiar with them. There's miles per gallon, ton miles per gallon, gallons per ton mile, but there's one particular metric, freight ton efficiency, sometimes abbreviated as FTE, that you might want to pay closer attention to. That's because freight ton efficiency is considered the most effective in measuring the amount of energy required to transport a load of goods from point A to point B. The reason for this is because freight ton efficiency considers the weight of your trucks as well as distance traveled. In the transport industry, carrying increased weight is a more efficient way to transport goods and minimize CO2 emissions, and we know this because of freight ton efficiency, which provides an accurate measurement of energy consumption. Here's where the math comes in, and so you can take me seriously, uh, graphics guy, how about a jacket? Thanks, John. Here we go. To calculate freight ton efficiency, multiply the weight of the cargo in tons by the distance traveled in miles, then divide by fuel consumed in gallons. So for example, if one truck carrying 20 tons of cargo, one mile, gets seven miles per gallon, the FTE would be 140 ton miles per gallon. Follow me? This calculation helps to show us that carrying more weight or goods is an efficient way to transport goods and minimize CO2 emissions. If freight shipped around the US could be carried at or close to maximum load, then fewer trucks would be required, which would reduce the amount of fuel burned and the amount of CO2 emissions. So what does all this mean for you? It means it's beneficial for trucks trying to make the most of fuel mileage to carry as much weight as possible while running as efficiently as possible. It sounds obvious, but it's the execution that will make this possible. One way to do it is by reducing the friction between moving components. Lubes contribute to fuel economy by reducing friction, which means a reduction in the amount of fuel that must be burned in order to overcome this friction. Now consider all of the major mechanical systems within the vehicle that are lubricated, the wheel bearings, the axles, the transmission, and the engine. That's a lot of friction that needs to be managed. And in the engine, the lubricant goes the extra step of protecting against wear, cooling internal engine components, and keeping critical engine components like pistons free from deposits to allow efficient combustion. So if your fleet is looking to maximize freight ton efficiency, consider switching to a lower viscosity oil. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.